Welcome to Wonder 4, Virginal Father of Jesus. The first section in this wonder is called Feast of the Holy Spouses. Father Calloway notes that although this is not on the universal liturgical calendar for the church, we are really in need of bringing forth this feast to be celebrated throughout the whole world. Marriage is such a contested issue today, and by putting forward the Feast of the Holy Spouses, to show forth the splendor of the sacrament of matrimony and Joseph and Mary's marriage as the model to which we must look forward to. This could really be a boost for the church in uh, reclaiming the holiness of the sacrament of marriage. So please say a prayer that this feast may be celebrated on the universal liturgical calendar one day. The second section is titled Virginal Father of Jesus. The first important thing to know is that great biblical scholars like St. Jerome and St. Bede give clear evidence that we can actually show from Scripture that St. Joseph remained a virgin for his entire life. Not only that, the only sources that we have that St. Joseph had children from a previous marriage is actually from apocryphal, which is non-canonical and non-approved documents. So there's really good scriptural support and from the tradition of the church that St. Joseph remained a virgin throughout his entire life. The idea that St. Joseph also made a vow of virginity to God in his youth like Mary is so encouraging when you look at what their relationship must have been like with each other. As Father Calloway shares here on page 132, a virginal Saint Joseph conveys an image of a youthful man who had to exhibit heroic supernatural virtue in order to remain a virgin. He espoused the most beautiful woman ever to live. I was so moved by how Father Calloway put forward Saint Joseph as a perpetual virgin and how rich it made the relationship between Joseph and Mary. The third section is called Santo Analo, and Santo Analo is the holy ring that Joseph gave Mary. Yes, you heard it. There's actually a wedding ring that still is in existence today that Joseph gave Mary on their wedding night. And if you go to Perugia, Italy, at the Cathedral of San Lorenzo, you can actually see this wedding ring for yourself. Another great reminder for us of the reality of their marriage